So when Alfred created dynamite, nitroglycerin still had a terrible reputation. So in the spring of 1868, he set foot on British soil, carrying with him a suitcase overflowing with dynamite. Because he's going around and he's inviting journalists to come to these demonstrations where he would bring sticks of dynamite in his backpack and a stand. He would set up these huge boulders basically and put a stick of dynamite in there and like watch as they like cleft in two. Alfred was a clever salesman. So when Alfred created dynamite, nitroglycerin still had a terrible reputation. And so his initial thought was to name it Nobel's Safety Powder. Whatever the name, his invention came at the perfect time. Around when Alfred introduced dynamite, there were two other major breakthroughs, the pneumatic drill and the diamond drilling crown, which now made it easy to bore holes in solid rock, perfect for a stick of dynamite. These tools revolutionized construction. Many of the iconic engineering feats of the era, from the Brooklyn Bridge to the Panama Canal, depended on dynamite. 